Today arrived the HTC One Mini 2 and in comparison on the right you will have the One M8. As you can see, same design, just a little bit more compact, especially we have the uh, same aluminum uni body uh, like on the big M8 and this new color called gunmetal gray. You have the silver and the gold version like on the M8, but I like this one the most because it has the most uh, yeah, uh, intense metal effect on the backside. So this is really a great one as I find. Uh, and as we are on the back, you can see the first difference between both easily. First of all, we do not have that second camera that's um, depending on the measuring of the distances doing several software features on the camera. We do not have this one here and we do not have that um, dual or, or um, yeah, two color flash, just that white LED here on the back. But on the other hand, we have a 13 megapixels camera on the M mini. Uh, and on the big one, it was a four ultra pixels, four million ultra pixels. But again, even if the pixels on the sensor are bigger, it's four million pixels, four megapixels. So four megapixels, 13 megapixels. So I guess this mini will do the better photos in, in reality. Uh, we have to wait uh, for the final software and uh, this is a beta software and hardware so for doing the tests but I guess this one will be better. Um, videos will be shot in full HD on both but we have a little difference on the on the front side. Now it's uh, having uh, photos with 5 megapixels on the M8 it's 3.7 megapixels. And as you can see over here, uh, we have these, um, or let me go a little bit more out again so that you can see in full. We have stereo speakers like on the uh, big M8. And uh, as we can see in the settings, we have now what's called like on the M8 boom sound. As you might remember, HTC and um, Beats Audio broke up now, HTC is doing this by themselves, called now boom sound, meaning that you should have a, um, a bigger sound on the stereo speakers with rich uh, basses and so on. Uh, I cannot test it at the moment because it's not final software, but there will be follow up a um, sound check, like I'd call it. So we compare the sounds of the M8 versus the uh, Mini, but at least I'm sure of that this sound will be even better than like on normal, regular um, phone speakers. And uh, we have again, um, like on the coming to the back and to the ergonomical um, features, that backsill side over here. But it's as you can see, uh, way more small. Or, or about what, what am I saying? Way more, just a little bit. It's called 65 uh, versus 71 millimeters, just six millimeters. But nevertheless. The width is uh, the uh, thing that's depending on how you feel, how, how compact feels a phone and the width is, 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 um, is that the thing that's depending on everything. So, um, and of course the weight, it's 137 versus 160 grams, but nevertheless the width is the thing that's um, uh, letting me feeling that the Mini 2 is way more compact than the M8. So, and now we are coming to the display, of course, that's the most interesting thing. thing. Uh, here we go. And uh, as you uh, might remember, on the big one, on the M8, we have uh, 4.95 inches. And on the smaller one, on the Mini 2, we have 4.45 inches. But on both, we have those on-screen buttons, as you can see. And it's depending on the app, if it's faded out or uh, translucent or like in the browser over here, just black. So this is something I do not understand why um, HTC is moving those on-screen buttons from this thing below here like on the first mini just up and letting this space or room over here just go and stand so this is um, uh, not, not uh, the uh, optimal uh, optimum I guess at this moment but nevertheless uh, what I wanted to say is uh, because of you have on-screen buttons now you have the same net 
display size, size like on the first one mini that has been uh, 4.27 inches now it's net 4.23 inches so keeping it um, almost uh, like the same but we have one more difference i have to show you unfortunately as you might remember if i'm having it in my hand in my palm if i'm double tapping on the m8 it's going or it's waking up from from standby mode and this is something that's not working on the mini i do not know why why? Because it's, I, at least as I know, a software feature as, and the sensors in the uh, Mini 2 are the same. But it's not working and it's not in the settings uh, to make sure, um, or let me compare it to this one over here. If you're going to, um, here we have display, just letting go this um, point over here. It's called motion launch features. So we do not have this one in the mini here. So this one will not work unless it's coming with an update or maybe up to the final software that's um, available this uh, one mini two uh, beginning of june so maybe until then this feature will be um, arrived but at the moment it's gone unfortunately coming back to the to the display i wanted to tell you a little bit more about the pixels as you might remember we have full hd on the m8 meaning 1080 by 1920 pixels here on the mini lower price, lower pixel density, of course, 720 by 1280 pixels. So we're coming to a pixel density or sharpness of 445 PPI on the big one. That's um, the, th the third best you can ever get. And on the mini, we just have 330 PPI, sounding incredible, but if you compare this to the price, and I'm calculating with around about 600 euros at the moment without any contract, I'm seeing the M8 in the internet at the moment, and with a recommended retail price of 449 for the M2 Mini, and I'm getting the street prices will be lower right from the start for this one, but, but that's the only thing I have at the moment for the Mini 2. So if I'm calculating all this together, uh, we're coming to a ratio concerning price and display size on the M8 of 32% below the average. Average meaning all smartphones I've reviewed in the last 12 months. That's normal that it's below average because it's high class, high price, um, just new. So that's kind, kind of regular. And on the Mini 2, we have that ratio 16% below the average. So meaning 16% below, 32% below, you're getting more size display size for your money on the Mini 2. The same with the pixel density. Again, 445 PPI, 330 PPI, compared to the price, the ratio is on the M8, 13% below the average, and just 2% below the average on the Mini. Again, more sharpness, more pixel density for your money. And I'm quite sure that the uh, street prices will be lower. So this ratio will be get, getting better as the street prices has been arrived. So. That's good news, as I think. Of course, you have a minor or smaller processor. Uh, here on the M8, we have a Snapdragon 800, uh, 801, 4 cores, 2.3 gigahertz. And here we have the Snapdragon 400. Sounds the same like on the first Mini, but that one has been dual core. Now we have 4 cores with 1.2. 2 gigahertz, but just 1 gigabyte RAM, 2 gigabyte RAM. So that's kind of different. So gamers will, or multimedia fans will tend to the bigger one, of course. But for just like you and me, normal, regular users with WhatsApp and browser and mail and whatever, this will be totally enough. Unfortunately, we have again that fixed and built-in battery, but coming to the capacity, it's 2,100 milliampere hours. On the big one, it's 2,600 milliampere hours. Again, the ratio is what it ca what counts. So the ratio I'm meaning is referring to is um, the, between the battery capacity and the display size, because the display is consuming the most power normally. So this ratio is exactly the same, it's uh, given 
above the average. So I guess the Mini 2 will run at least as long as the M8. And because of the little bit smaller processor, I guess it will e run even longer. Uh, I cannot do any tests at the moment with that because of, as I said, uh, it's not the final software. Uh, so we have to wait with benchmarks and runtime tests up to the um, final product. But I guess, uh, or I bet even that this will uh, at least run as long as the big M8, I guess, even longer. Now we're coming to very good news compared, uh, so, so uh, concerned uh, the memory. Because we have internal memory exactly the same, meaning 16 gigabyte internal memory, net, so meaning out of the box um, with all pre-installed apps, leaving 10.1 gigabyte. That's the value you should keep in mind, 10.1 gigabyte, exactly the same like on the M8. And we have a slot for micro SD cards up to 138 gigabyte, like on the big one. So the biggest capacity you can get at the moment with uh, micro SD cards, 128 plus 10 internal, that's everything I wanted to hear, wonderful. By the way, on the other side, we have a nano SIM slot, nano SIMing the smallest ones you might know from the iPhone. So this one over here, um, so uh, keep in mind that you might need new uh, SIM cards if you are having a, a older one at the moment or that you have to change uh, your SIM card. Uh, the rest of the um, features like LTE Cut 4, meaning up to 150 megabit per second is the same. Dual cell HSDPI, that's meaning you have in uh, 3G networks up to 42 megabit per second. NFC, everything you want to, that's the same. So it's a little bit a different product. Of course, you have smaller display, smaller resolution, but you're getting more for your price, having a 30 megapixels camera, and it's more compact, but you can do um, instead of not meaning gaming or extreme gaming, you can do everything you want to uh, like on the big one. So I guess this will be a very interesting product. So I can't wait for the final one to have further tests. I hope this is enough for a first impression of the HTC One Mini 2. As I told you already, it's coming at the beginning of June and the recommended retail price is 449 euros uh, without any contract, at least here in Europe or Germany. I hope this is enough at the moment. If you liked my video, please think of uh, subscribing to my channel and to recommend it. I say thanks in advance and take care.